Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another C Sharp tutorial to help you get an A in your course for Core exam. And today we're here with how to validate a name using C Sharp. So before we get started, make sure to import system and system.text.regular expressions, as we'll be needing these for this tutorial. And by validating the name, I mean, right, does the user input only contain letters? Uppercase or lowercase, or a combination? And before you say, but what about Irish people, or what about people with minus symbols in their name, or what about Elon Musk's child? Well, don't worry, we're going to have a more advanced tutorial on name validation in the future, but this is a quick, simple one to help you get to name your course or core exam, not to help you write a really complicated program or website. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we have got our main method and we've got string input equals name. This is going to represent the user input. If you don't know how to get user input, click the eye up in the corner. Then we've got console.writeLine, validate name user input. We are calling our validate name function and we're going to print the result. And then we've got console.readLine to stop the program from closing. So let's get to defining our validate name function. We have got public static bool validate name string name. So this is a public boolean. So it's going to return a boolean value. Uh, it's called validate name and it takes in a string and we're going to call it name. This is going to be what we wish to validate. Inside we're going to do rejects rejects equals new rejects. And inside this rejects where we have two brackets and inside we're going to have at speech mark pizza hut at I'm just kidding I'm not going to read all of this out it will be in the description so you can just copy and paste it but basically this reject says right every character needs to be between an lowercase a to lowercase z or uppercase a to uppercase z and that's basically it. Every character needs to match that criteria. Then we do return rejects.isMatch name. So we're going to basically check if this string variable matches the conditions defined in the rejects. If it does, return true. If it does, return false. And that's it for this validation. So we're going to try it. Save your work. Hit play. True. Name could be a valid name. Now we're going to put some exclamation marks behind it. And we're going to see it return false. As you can see it returns false because that's not a valid name. Again, if you're Elon Musk's son or daughter. Because he's probably going to have more kids in the future with weird names. I apologise. But there's another tutorial just for you guys. Uh, let's put um, one, two, three, max. As you can see, it's false. Now let's just do a lowercase word. Jeff. Let's hit play. And it says true because Jeff is a valid name. But thanks for being a great audience. This is it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like in the comment if you enjoyed. And thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.